Hi, and welcome to another King's Christian Collegiate Comtech tutorial. Today, we're going to be looking at stop motion animation using iMovie. The first thing you do, of course, in any stop motion animation is capture your images, which we've already done, and we've already brought them into our computer and put them in a file called Mug Animation. What we want to do is bring those images into iMovie and then we want to make a couple of very quick and easy adjustments so that we can turn those images into an animated short film. So we've got our iMovie open, we're going to go up to File and we're going to go to Import Media. Now it's already looking at my desktop, if it doesn't show your desktop or wherever you have uh, placed that file, desktop is always easiest. Um, make sure you're looking at your desktop. So here, everything that's on my desktop is listed. I'm looking for a file called Mug Animation. So let's just scroll down through. And here it is, Mug Animation. Let's double click this so that all we see are the images inside the folder. So let's click the first one. And then hold down Command and click A. And that selects everything. Now. Once all of those images are selected, there are 127 of them, go over here and import all and press the button. And here are all of our images, all 127 of them, ready to be animated. So again, let's click on the first image. You'll know it's selected because it has a yellow box around it. And again, command A that selects all of your images. And then you simply grab and drag everything down to your timeline. And let go, and here is your animation in place. Now, what happens if you press play, hit the space bar, we get this nice slow zoom in, nice slow zoom out. You can see each image is each motion from the uh, change that I made in their images. Of course, this is a terrible animation. We certainly don't want to do that. Uh, we have to make some changes. So let's click our first one. And again, Command A. That selects everything. Now, we have to make two changes. We have to stop that slow in and out that's going on. And we have to speed this thing up so that it animates properly. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change this zoom in, zoom out that's going on. So we're going to go right up here to the cropping button and click cropping. And we're going to click fit. That brings everything. So now all of our images in our timeline, none of them are moving back and forth anymore. Okay, Command A to make sure everything is selected again. And then we go to change the duration. Right now, each one of these clips lasts for 4 seconds. And you can tell because the duration is 4.0. Now we want to speed that up significantly. So let's just highlight that. And the lowest we can go, we'll go to our lowest settings, is 0 0.1 and then hit enter. And that should have applied the speed change to every single frame. Sometimes, for some reason in my experience, it doesn't do it right the first time. It may take a couple of tries. I'm not really sure why. Um, but if you try it a couple of times, you will get it. Let's give it a try and see what happens. So if you remember before, it was zooming back and forth. Uh, it was moving very, very slowly every four seconds. Let's see what happens now. And that's it. That's our animation. Let's watch it one more time. And that's it. In part two, we're going to look at how to add titles, transitions, music, and sound effects, and then we will have a complete animated short film.